Good morning, sisters. And welcome as we celebrate the solemnity of St. John the Baptist, the entrance antiphon. A man was sent from God whose name was John. He came to testify to the light, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. And our mass intention for Father John de Sousa on his birthday, for our deceased relatives, friends, and benefactors, for all those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Friends, we come as we are before the Lord, that his mercy and compassion may renew us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, have a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joy and direct the heart of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Listen to me, O islands, and pay attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother, he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, 
and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I thank you who wonderfully made me. Oh Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways through and through. Thank you for wondrously making me. For it was you who formed my inmost being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you who wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works, which my soul knows well. I thank you for wondrously making me. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Thank you for wondrously making me. A, re a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David to be our father's king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's prosperity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had preached the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you that fear God, to us has been sent this message of this salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. You, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Now the time came for Elizabeth to be delivered, and she gave birth to a son, and her neighbors and kinsfolk heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have named him Zechariah after his father, but his mother said, Not so, he shall be called John. And they said to her, None of your kindred is called by this name. 
And they made sign to his father, inquiring what he would have him call. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they all marveled, and immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loose, and he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about through all the hill country of Judea, and all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness till the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. What can we make of John the Baptist? Even Jesus seems to have been puzzled by his relative. He said, of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist have never been seen. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. It seems even Jesus could not easily sum up John. John is the only gospel character whose birth is celebrated, apart, of course, from Jesus. John is the enigmatic figure He is a blood relative of Jesus, and yet, apart from the meeting of their mothers during pregnancy, the two of them only meet in the Gospels when Jesus comes (coughs) to John for baptism. Jesus' ministry only really gets underway after John had been imprisoned. Today, as we celebrate John's birth, we read the gospel story of his birth, the circumcision and naming. The family, friends, and relations are puzzled by the name he is given as it doesn't follow family tradition. But the confirmation of This name enabled his father, Zachariah, to speak again, having been rendered voiceless for his lack of belief in the angel's announcement at his coming birth. What will the child turn out to be? They all wonder. And no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than him. Perhaps, dear friends, this means that what is seen and heard from Jesus when his ministry begins is the revelation of God's kingdom. Not just a prophetic promise of it, but it is John who prepares the way. So as we gather on this solemnity solemnity of the nativity of St. John the Baptist, may we come perhaps with hearts renewed, uplifted, and given courage that through our own birth, Jesus has destined us to do his will. May we continue to rejoice at what God desires to do through our lives and through the lives of our brothers and sisters, that we may be today a prophetic presence and witness. Amen.
And so we profess the Nicene Creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of Him who both foretold the coming of the world's Saviour and pointed him out when he came, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the whom he leapt for joy, 
at the coming of human salvation, he alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so was the powers of heaven. We worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end. We acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, I recognize in the sacrificial victim by whose death you vow to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, 
Francis our Pope, Stephen and Sylvester our Bishop, the Order our Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their parting from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Through the words of our Saviour, we are able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. The 
the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Sisters, please take care of yourselves. If it doesn't work, I'll give you some Red Bull, okay? But take care and every blessing that's a solemnity. Keep warm and be comfortable. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>